And let's say Brad Crouch agrees to come to the Suns on a million a year. Yeah. Okay. Which I think would be a good deal for them because they're not mm. spending that money anywhere else and they need a big marquee talent. And Brad Crouch is a good player. I know he has his disposal issues, but he'd yeah. still be just about their best midfielder. I'd say probably best yeah, midfielder. He would be their best midfielder. Best midfielder probably their second sure. best player up there with Wits. I don't know. He's probably better than Wits, actually. Yeah. Wits is a very good Ruckman. He's their best player. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, Brad Crouch agrees to come yeah. to Adla- uh, from Adelaide. He's contracted, so you have to do yeah. a deal with Adelaide. Yeah. Adelaide. Is asking for pick one. What do you do as your goal host? I'd probably roll on Roll and Rowell and Anderson. I You'd take one and two instead. I reckon in this not generally, but in this particular instance with Rowell and Anderson's connection. Yeah. The fact they're clearly head and shoulders the two names in the draft from what I've heard about the draft. It's yeah. them two and everyone else. That's true. Um, they've both been said described as Sam Walsh, if not better, type of players. Mm. Well, I'd take two of them over Brad Crouch. Who... It's a risk, but you are you are getting two. Well, no, I'm not saying off a pick one and two. I'm saying like well, yeah, but one. I'm saying the package of the two young guys because if you only take one of them, that might be slightly more of a flight risk. Yep, that sort of thing. But the package of them, mm. it does help that the Gold Coast now have picks eleven and twenty as well. Yeah. So or, or no, so it's eleven next year and twenty. Yeah. They've got 15 or something this year, though, as well. So yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. So they do have a bit to bargain with there. But if you're Adelaide and you have got a contracted Brad Crouch, they're probably going to ask for pick one or two. Yeah. In my, I'd imagine that. I can't mm. imagine them getting yeah. that. Less. That'd be stupid not to ask. Or Lakotius and Rankin. Now, that is an interesting yeah, prospect. That does make that, yeah. I'd, I'd be prepared, more prepared to trade them for Brad Crouch from picks one and two, I reckon. Really? So you're saying Raul and Anderson over Lakotius and Rankin? Yeah, especially because the fact those Lukosius and Rankin are South Australian as well. Mm-hmm. You could probably almost go the two of them for Crouch and maybe something from Adelaide, something small. Yeah, see, the issue I have with the, trading out these young guns is they're just just starting a new merry-go-round of talent. Mm. They just trade out the players that have been there for a couple of years. Ben King, who has just won the grand final sprint, um, looks like an absolute gun yeah. for the Suns. How, how realistic is it they're going to keep on to him as well, considering he's got Max at St. Kilda and St. Kilda are going to come hard? Mm. Not this year. I um, think it's year. easier if, they don't, if they're not trying to give him and Lukosius mm. opportunities. If it was 100%, we'll give you every opportunity because Lukosius was sent for Brad Crouch mm. in this hypothetical. Yeah. I think you'd be more likely to keep him if you could really give him that spot and attention. Yeah. That'd help. Fair enough. I... I'm more inclined to trade pick two. I'd, I'd try and offer pick two for Crouch. Take mm-hmm. Raul and try and keep Lukosius and Rankin. I, personally, I really, really like Lukosius as well as a mm-hmm. talent. But I think a lot of it comes down to you need to have a, you need to be able to gauge what these young players are thinking. Because if Lukosius and Rankin want to leave after four years... Already. Lukosius hasn't signed an extension yet, but that doesn't oh, okay. necessarily mean True. too much. But it doesn't help. Yeah. <laughs> the manager only has a year to go. Basically. That is actually interesting. Yeah. So that does change it because if you can kind of gauge that this player is going to leave anyway, yeah. then maybe you do get rid of him and keep Net Row and Anderson. But yeah, yeah, interesting. So maybe if we have a look at the Adelaide side of things as well, um, how much of a how much of a loss would Brad Crouch be? Let's say they were given pick one or two for him, so Raul or Anderson. I feel like at that point they almost should just go full ka- full kablam and mm. commit with their blow up flip lead for picks. For it's- been one that's rumoured. I don't know if I'd go with Laird, but if they're already losing Crouch, losing Laird would be too much of a disaster, mm. considering they also just lost Cal- uh, Ellis Yeoman. Yeah. I don't know what they'll get in terms of... Because it's a free agency, but I don't know what they'll he get. He was in and out of their 22, though. He wouldn't be a first-rounder, I'd imagine. Mm. I don't know. It yeah. depends on the contract. But four-year deal is pretty lengthy, actually. Yeah. But, um, He's got upside. Yeah. Bets to Carlton, not a huge loss. Yeah. Not a good... Thing to happen in my opinion, they should have kept him. Um, but nonetheless, he's like old, old yeah. anyway. They're gonna have to seems like him. they're impl- blowing it up. Jacobs to GWS, probably mm. Greenwood might be on the way to Gold Coast. Brad Crouch, um, and Alex Keith has requested a trade to the Bulldogs. So there's a lot of players going out of Adelaide yeah. at the moment. I wonder how much of a destabilizing effect losing Crouch would have. Um, and you know, does that mean it's harder to keep Matt? 
If Brad Crouch it definitely leaves. makes it harder to keep Matt. You'd go, if you were Gold Coast and you signed Brad, you'd go hard at Matt Crouch the next couple yeah. of years. I, w- I would anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know that I understand that Brad Crouch is probably not worth pick one to any other side. I've got a, a more expanded hypothetical here. Crouch brothers for Rankin, Lukosius, and something else. Yeah. 15 and 20. Rankin, Lukosius, 15 and 20. For the Crouch brothers. It's hard to get my head around it. Yeah. It's hard to get the talent. Yeah, so oh, I guess for Gold Coast. That would work for both teams, I think, because Adelaide, if they're blowing it up anyway, you're getting a yeah. good foundation with Lukosius and Rankin. Yeah. Interesting. That's an interesting. We'll put it to the viewers. What do we think about that one? Yeah. Lukosius. Off the top of Lank- my head. Lukosius and Lankin um, <laughs> for the Crouch brothers. Now, I know there's the, the Crouch brothers don't have their, like, they have their detractors, mm. especially in the Discord. Um, which is fair enough. They don't use the ball that well. But I think if it was any other club than Gold Coast, I think Gold Coast need these prime age players to come in and improve the side now because they're going to have draft picks like for years. Yeah. You know what I mean? That draft access to talent is not going to be a problem for them. What is the problem is retaining these prime age players who can improve the side now. On and off the field, they need a boost. So, you know, if they push finals in a couple of years on the back of Crouch and maybe a few other players like Greenwood, Billy Stretch, yeah. I think it's been linked to them. Brandon Ellis, who we haven't even mentioned. Yeah, Brandon yet. Ellis is big, will be a good player for him, I think. Yeah, through free agency, just the best 22 player. Mm. I think they probably need to sacrifice the future just for a little bit of a boost now because, like I said, their talent, they're always going to have access to the draft. Mm. Now, I yeah, like I said, I don't want to necessarily give up the whole farm like Lacroix's yeah. ranking I'd rather keep, but... Um, yeah, maybe right. maybe short term gain for long term like loss is probably where I'd go with that. But um, to to round off on a few other trade rumors.